Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I am going to show you how you can create this video using AI. For these AI videos, I use Pika AI's new AI model, in which you need one video and one image. That's it. So let's see how we can create it. So first, open Pika AI. Once Pika AI is open, you will see some options. I will select the login option and log in using my Gmail ID. After logging in, it will try to sell you its plan. Simply skip this part. Now it will show introducing Pika Editions, which is its new AI model that we will be using. You need to click on get started to proceed. Now the guide will open showing you where to add the video, image and prompt. Simply select the button below every tab. After this, the interface will open. If you click on the top, it will show you free credits. To generate a video, it uses 10 credits. Now I will click on the video option here and upload my video. So I shoot my video like this where I am just opening the box and looking inside it. You can shoot anything according to your creativity. So our video is uploaded. Now I will upload the image of my character that I wanted to show inside the box. After uploading the video and image, now it's time to write our prompt here. I will write minions inside box happy. Then I will click on the star button and you can see the video processing already started. Here you can see it's showing high demand right now. So it will take few minutes to generate your video. If you use their paid option, this process become a bit faster. So after waiting for 5 to 10 minutes, my AI video is ready. But there is an issue. It has also changed my face. To fix this, there is an option I will show you. You need to take this video into After Effects and import the original video as well into After Effects. Now I will drag and drop my main video here and create a new composition. After that, I will double click on the video layer and go to the Roto Paint option. Here I select Roto Brush and paint over my box. Then I hit the space bar and it will automatically start rotoing the box. After this process, I will click the freeze option to ensure no changes are made to my Roto, allowing me to play my video smoothly. Once the freezing complete, when you go back to the main composition, you will see the box is separated from main video. Now I will import the AI generated video in this composition and adjust the scale to match the main video. After that, I will drag the track mat option and drop it onto the roto layer. This will make only the part of the AI video visible that overlaps with the roto area and the rest will disappear. After playing it, everything seems fine but now one of my minions hand is missing. To fix this, I will create new comp using AI video. Now I will set the duration of video where the hand is visible. Next, double click on the video, use the roto paint brush and roto it the same way I did with the box. Once done, make sure to freeze it. And then, copy the video layer back to the main composition and adjust the timing. And that's it, our video is completed. Now to render this video, select all the layers, go to file and click on export. Choose your location and format, then click the render button, now your final video is ready. That's it, in just a few clicks. Your video is ready. Similarly, I created more videos like this. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.